Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for the support and you know what to do. You need to hit the subscribe button and I'm so happy to be back with a new reaction from David Jr. Okay, and so this is a very interesting video and the reason as to why I choose to react to this one is because I love when a family comes together to celebrate each other as a family when you're uplifting each other as a family it's a very important so i love this video and i feel that yeah probably um you know it, it warms my heart when i see uh, siblings coming together and you know and the family as a whole so this time let's go to a big celebration at the village and they cooked goats okay mm, i love this already so let's see let's go Mm, my goodness. I guess you guys know already I love food okay so videos with food you know I love them and if you haven't watched my reaction video to African travelers at Russia so that is a you know the typical Kenyan uh, traditional wedding from the Kikuyu tribe then make sure you go watch that one as well where there's some lots of good food and yeah you will enjoy that one as well so I guess this is some soup looks like some you know some soup mm. or probably boiling meat to make it soft probably yeah yeah it looks like boiled meat oh my goodness mm. Fire. Yeah, and that thing really, I mean, your eyes will cry. You know, I remember back in the village when I would go visit my uncles, my grandma, you know, and my goodness, the smoke when your eyes are not used to it, it they really hot, you know. Five. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Okay, that is blood. Is it just to make some sausages? I know um, you can make some sausages from uh, from blood, and you have to keep mixing it so it can it doesn't clot. But um, okay, I've never seen the preparation, but it doesn't look so appetizing right now. I prefer the goat on the side. <laughs> it's blood, you know. Mm. Yeah, we have to make. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is David Junior, a typical village boy born and raised in Kenya. Right, love that and proud, proudly Kenyan, proudly typical village boy, you know, and I love your vibes, David. I think you're a very promising young man and I like the, I love your, your energy. I don't know if you get what I mean. I just love your energy. And I feel there is something so pure about you. So, yeah, so keep up the good work. Good job. And if it is your very first time on this YouTube channel, consider subscribing. We on the road to 10K subscribers. And I'm right. Same to me, guys. Make sure you subscribe. We are on the road to 500 subscribers. And I hope, you know, very soon 1,000. But right now, you know, just help me and support me just by subscribing and go and you know, and follow David as well if you haven't already. I'm coming live from my home, guys. Mm -hmm. Like here's some chickens making some noise yeah. right there. Yeah, so, so good. Anyways, guys, on today's video, it is very super important because it's kind of a celebration here in my village because my sister D Mwango just mm -hmm. finished her her studies. That is university studies, guys. Right? Yes. And not only, um, because, and I'm saying congratulations, Dean Wongo, for your 100,000 subscribers. You received your silver button and good job. Um, yeah, and congratulations for your studies because it's one thing to do YouTube, but it's another thing, you know, to also go to school. And I think it makes our parents happy when we have that certificate. It just assures them, reassures them just in case of anything. So good job. I'm super proud of my sister. Right. So today we decided like we should make a party for her, you know. And this is how my home looks like, guys. Yeah. Yeah, we have some. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Honestly, the compound is beautiful. The house is beautiful. Your parents are proud of you. The three of you, um, you know, with Ayamawa as well and Dimwango and yourself. 
and honestly uh, many children should do the same and not forget their parents you know when they grow older and I think I am uh, has been pushing his siblings to grow on YouTube and you know instead of giving them the fish he's been showing them how to fish and that's the way to go and this is what you know families should be like and siblings should come together and build each other together and not against each other so it's a perfect example um you know i love it good job some visitors around and that's my dad <laughs> Hi, trying baby. some maize there you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that's my dad guys yeah so mm. let me show you around how everything looks like yeah this is my home guys it's so blessed Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys, are you ready for these? You see, <laughs> right? There. It looks like uh, there is a kitchen, and that, that's an ingenious idea, especially if you like traditionally cooked food. Um, it's a great idea to have that kitchen outside where it doesn't have to smoke the whole house, and it's it's a fantastic idea. I love this idea, and I feel that um, you know, they will have some great party. The celebration is going to be good you know so and just um i've just noticed david you have the same laugh as your sister you know you guys laugh the same just listen to that again let me know in the comment section below if you agree with me listen to how he laughs yeah guys are you ready for these you see <laughs> you see you know if you close your eyes that would be dim one but she laughs the same it's a beautiful laugh you know it just runs in the family right the genes <laughs> right there people are so like mm -hmm. so happy and that's the one <laughs> she doesn't want to be on camera she's run away all right there you know oh. <laughs> hey mwango say hi <laughs> what's up guys hope you're doing fine hi d how are you and congratulations uh -huh. you having a wedding what did she say uh -huh. <laughs> you're getting married okay so are we welcome you know how, are you inviting us to the wedding and who is it who is the groom i want to know i want to know <laughs> so we have a traditional wedding here today uh -huh. yeah as we wait for the real guy to come over real guy oh yeah uh d she's so beautiful she's there's she's natural I, I just love when people are so like natural and she's she looks to be when you hear her talking on her videos or in being interviewed she's very comfortable and very uh, outspoken you know so hey, I'm... <laughs> oh. actually, actually guys this is how dry yeah that's a rack yeah that's a dish rack yeah it's a very traditional way of drying um utensils and stuff the utensils or the dishes mm -hmm. in a traditional way this is the sand guys right yeah so let me show you around how things look like here are you happy for today Mwango? yeah i'm really excited because it's my big day today your big day <laughs> who is coming <laughs> <laughs> guys let me show you what's happening Ooh, so we want the tea who's coming Ah, so probably someone special to Dimwango is coming to the party. I guess we have to wait and find out maybe in the next videos. Yeah, you know. So right here. Hmm. That's a kitchen. Okay. Are you seeing what you are seeing? <laughs> and he is my uncle actually. <laughs> Hi uncle. Yeah, you can tell there's some jeans there. Yes, I'm on mm -hmm. yeah. sweating. <laughs> so hey, introduce yourself. Yeah, actually he's my uncle guys and <laughs> we just you see <laughs> Yeah, your uncle looks like your dad, not the one in uh in orange, but the one he looks so much like your dad, David. Let me what do you think guys? I don't know if I can find I can have the yeah, look. He looks so much like uh David's dad. Let me know in the comments below. Yeah, actually he's my uncle guys okay. and we just, mm. you see, <laughs> mm. so this is how we lit fire, you see, we're using some pipe, <laughs> right. doing it in a local way, 
Yes, it's easier with a pipe, 100%. And that pipe is very small. I remember we used to have like those large ones, you know, so. So this is a goat, guys. We just, as I have said earlier, we're celebrating. And this is blood, you know. Yeah, we have to maybe stir it so that it may not like. Clot. Cloud, something yeah. like that, you know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so we wanna like. But was it so? Is it to make what do you call them? The mutura. You know the the sausages, the mutura sausages. What are you going to make with the blood? Let me know in the comment section below. I hope you watch this video, David. Let me know in the comment how, how, what did you make with the blood. Cook this goat right here. <laughs> Yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Kindly give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. More videos are coming, guys. Right. I want to show you how we cook these goats right here. These are the intestines and everything. So. All right, yeah. So if there's some intestines on the side, then I guess the blood is to make the mutura, I think. I think, which is a sausage um, that is mainly made uh, so with the, with the intestines, well, the... The, you know the intestine pocket and um the blood inside that is i don't know if, i don't know what i i i don't know i don't know how they prepare it i think they put maybe some some herbs or something and yeah it's really good see here a huge celebration in the village yes. <laughs> we're so happy and excited we thank god for everything guys yeah so Let's see how everything goes here. Mm -hmm. Yo, guys, so I'm in the kitchen right here. As you can see, I'm preparing chapati. Yes. And this is how we do it here in the village. Yes. We're doing it in a lo local way, you know, using electric cook. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And that's the best way to go about it. That's the best way to make chapatis. It's in the traditional pan. And you, if you can see, I don't know if you can see, but I will try and save the image after this one. The pan is really thick really really thick and it go and it keeps the heat you know and so the chapatis are soft they're delicious they have this smoky um taste and smell to them that make them so delicious and soft okay so oh so david you can make chapatis mm, like that we have the electric cooker butter now oh yeah you can see the the pan the way it is and you can never make the, the best chapatis are when you make it the traditional way and not with the electric cooker. Oh, it's because we have so many visitors. Mm -hmm. right. This has to be full. This oh, yeah. Full. This big mm -hmm. hot pot. <laughs> yeah, guys. So this is how we do it. Hey, just mm. every day, you know. Yeah. Chapatis are... Mm. If you ever go to Kenya, if you've never been there before, make sure you eat chapatis for a fact. You will love them for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner. However, the case may be, but you will love chapati. They're so good. Yeah. So we're cutting the meat into smaller pieces so that they can boil fast. You know? mm -hmm. So okay. they can cook at a fast rate. You see? Okay. And right here, these are traditional potter, actually. Yeah, that we want to use to cook this meat, right? Yeah, yeah. This is how basically... Yeah, like, that's another pot that you can make a uh, there in there. You can make so many dishes in this pot, and it really keeps the heat. It doesn't burn. So, yeah, really nice traditional pot. In Africa, is <laughs> So simple and amazing, guys. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're using firewood as a source of fuel. Right. You know? Yeah. yeah, of course, it, and it's less expensive. Um, I remember people don't 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 get it twisted. People don't go and cut uh, the tree so they can burn the wood. No, I mean I remember we used to go and collect wood. You know that you know the dry wood because that's what is um, the best when you when you when you have to burn wood. It's the dry wood. So um, yeah, so it's it has nothing to do with uh, you know uh, deforestation and stuff like that. Uh, not at all and so yeah it's a really nice way of um you know spending less on electricity on gas and you know you're hearing the you know just the dry sticks in the forest so yeah 
actually it is very cheap to right. use fire compared to other sources like right. maybe electricity you know? right. electricity here in the village is so expensive yes yeah sure it cannot be affordable right. most of the people they cannot afford electricity right yeah. so, uh, already in the city it's complicated you always have like power blackouts every now and then so you can imagine someone who is in a remote area it's even more complicated and electricity hasn't isn't still you know far into remote areas um more and more but you know but it's still expensive so i mean you have alternatives so why not use that how we do it look at this Wow. Mm, the fry. Oh my god. I want some. <laughs> and nothing can compare to Kenyan meat. Let me tell you, east or west, Kenyan meat is the best. And I say it, okay? My goodness, you should taste it to believe it. But I understand because that's how, you know, when you use when you eat meat from when you grow up eating a certain kind of meat and then you change countries, the meat doesn't taste the same. And I guess it's the same for all types of meat. But personally, East or West, Kenyan meat is the best. Try it out and thank me later. <laughs> thank me later. Mm. Hey. Oh my hey. God. Hey. Guys, you love what, what you are seeing, right? Yeah. <laughs> The golden brown, the mm, it looks so good. Is this D who is staring, or your mom, or your aunt, or? <laughs> That's my mom. Oh, it's your mom. Hi, mom. Hey. Hello, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. D's mom is so cute. She always says hello, guys. Like the videos I've watched, you know, with uh from D and her mom. She's always like hello, guys, and ah, uh, goodness, mama, we love you because you you have amazing children. What kind of beef is this? It's a goat meat. Goat meat? Yes. And this is how you fry it? Yes. Wow. Mm. So delicious, guys. <laughs> mm. uh, let's, and let me show you how we, we fry the fish right here. So this is okay. the fish and the whole Oh my goodness. So it's so it's super hot. Mm. Yeah, it looks like tilapia. Mmm, so good. And mm. green 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 green. Smash that like button for your voice. Smash it, smash it. Huge celebration in the village. Mm. <laughs> and right here, I think the soup now it is almost okay. almost ready, you see. It's because of the bubbles. You can tell Yeah, and you can see that the bone kind is kind of detached from the meat. That's when you know that your meat is going to be good and it's tender and soft. So um and goat meat is very strong. Um so the best thing is to boil it. And this, you can actually even take the, the well, you know, the, the, the water and have it as soup because it's very healthy, very nutritious. And so you, I guess you can tell from, you know, the bone. Almost, almost. You see, you we can tell that the, the meat is detaching from the bone or something. That means your meat is going to be so tender and good. Almost ready. It's yeah. Because of the bubbles, you can mm. tell from the bubbles it is almost ready. Right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and this is nyama choma right here. Mm. So nyama choma, if you don't know, that's grilled meat. You know, that's what people call the barbecue meat, beef. So it's just barbecue, only that the meat is so good. This is nyama choma, you know. Mm. So nyama is meat in Swahili. And choma, it's like the, the, the barbecue, I would I would say, if I was to translate it, you know, so it's nyama choma. <laughs> wow. Let me test this one. Mm. 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 Oh my goodness, my mouth is watering right now. Oh, super sweet. Mm. Wow, look at the final results, guys. Oh, you see what I was telling you guys? 
the bones are actually detached from well the meat whichever way the meat is detached from the bone and that means your meat is super tender mm -hmm. this is now the beef or the, the meat the pot. Mm -hmm. and this is the pot guys this is the traditional pot that we use you see this meat mm -hmm. It's so thorough that you can see the bones almost separate. You see? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, guys, you can see young mm. meat is the, the bones mm -hmm. separate. Mm. Super soft, you know, it is boiled to the maximum. Right. Yeah. Even if your thick has any problem, you simply chew it. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah, guys, that's how basically it is. This is how we boil food here, 100% sure. From this, mm -hmm. we have collected soup. Now that's oh, how we, right. yeah. we so, make the soup. So you the can soup, think it is porridge. Right, look, I told you guys, yeah, you just take this, the, the water, the soup, and then it's really tasty. Uh -huh. And this actually, sick people do take it. So it mm -hmm. means that it heals when you have right. This is what you take. And here, this is traditional Ugali. Oh, wow. It's <laughs> like a, a big cheese. Okay, yeah, okay. It's not very common, I, I would say. People are more used to the, what do you call it, to the white ugali uh, and also the whole meat one, you know, the yellow one, I would say. So this color, to be honest with you, I've never tasted this one before. I don't know, maybe I should try it out, but uh, it's very rare in, in Kenya, but probably now more and more. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. Does it taste like the white ugali? Let me know. Uh -huh. And actually, this ugali is super healthy compared to those, uh, those ones that uh, mm. are uh, uh, the, the white. You know? mm -hmm. And that is blood. This is blood, guys. This is Blood, pure blood. Yeah, the blood is not so appetizing. <laughs> it's not so appetizing. But I would be curious to know uh, how you're going to prepare this. As you see, you have to stir it to avoid clotting. Yeah. 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 I have the impression it's already clotting. The blood is already clotting, but I think that they mix it after that. They just mix it until it becomes liquid again. Or it's, I don't know, I don't know, maybe a satin consistent. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know if you know. Okay, let me know. Just let me know. You added salt here, a little bit salt, mm -hmm. to avoid clot. Wow. Okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Pure blood. Long time ago, I think our elders used to drink this type of blood. Actually, until today, it's mm. right? Yeah, yeah, you find the Maasai's are do. They just drink it and they don't kill the cow. They actually just pierce the, the what do you call it, the um, oh, the nerve and then the, the, the blood just, you know, just splashes out. And yeah, they still drink it because it's healthy. Apparently, they mix it with milk as well. And apparently very nourishing, very, you know, so I don't know. It's not my, no. <laughs> wow. Pure blood. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I think that and this is where we roast our meat. Mm -hmm. This we is roast. where we roasted the meat, guys. Mm -hmm. I think you saw it, yeah. I think mm -hmm. that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Greetings from Africa, to be precise, in Kenya, you know. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I think that's it, guys. Thank you so much for clicking. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe, you know. More videos coming from the village. Bye. See you in my next Bye. Yeah, guys. So, thank you so much. Yeah, that was a very nice video. It's nice to see all these videos that show people how um, the African food is made, life in the village. And, you know, it's no longer like... People today love that. You know, before being in the village was not so fashionable, I would say. But I feel like today people really want to know their roots and they're proud of their roots. 
people are proud to say that, yeah, I'm from the village and so what, you know, and I like that. I really love that. And thank you so much, David, for taking us through the, the you know, the preparation, the celebration. And maybe is D getting married or not? Is it just a celebration just for um, her passing exams or is there a special guest? Hmm, I guess we have to wait and see in the next video. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching and make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe and make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. <laughs> thank you guys and bye.